we have another unboxing for your visual delights. Sadly, it's not mine, but the chief engineer is steadily filling his home full of all kinds of Tamiya products. Today is the black metal dump truck on the GF01 chassis, which he'll be unboxing for us. I will admit, I don't really know much about dump trucks in general. I know at Easter as a child, I always looked forward to receiving a Yorkie Easter egg that came in a truck-shaped box. The pinnacle of this was when they released the cement truck, because the shape of the egg just seemed to work. I'm also sure that when they were trying to find alternative sports to show on the telly after Rupert Murdoch bought everything that was popular, that they showed some sumo wrestling featuring a rather large Hawaiian chap called the Dump Truck. And, to all the Christian Slater fans out there, greetings and salutations, as we need to mention Martha Dump Truck from Heathers. But for now, let me hand you over to the Chief Engineer, and let's see what's so black metal about this dump truck. Good afternoon, I'll see you soon, so viewers. Very excited to show you the next build. The Tamiya metal dump truck on the GF01 chassis. Christmas morning, I woke up, went downstairs, and there was a box under a tree. It was this. I've seen this a few times and I love it. How Santa go down the chimney? I do not know. It's massive and it weighs a ton. Shall we see what's in the box? Standard mirror kit, lots of bits. The tyres, they're absolutely huge. They're going to take some bashing. Just to compare, these are the wheels and tyres for the M05 Jägermeister I'm building at the moment. They near enough fit inside. It's a big tyre. In the kit, we get a torque tune motor. I'll be sticking with the torque tuned. That should be powerful enough for this build. You also get a Tamiya ESC. I got myself a JX servo. And I've upgraded the bearings to metal and rubber. For the radio gear, I've gone Google RC again. For the transmitter and receiver. In the box, got a bag, grease, gears, B bag, Allen key, screws, parts of the steering and drive shafts and sea bag parts of the suspension screws zip ties lots of bits to go with the tires we've got the big wheels nice silver color Main part of the chassis, where all the gears go. So what I like about this, the metal dump truck, the silver, just stands out a bit more than the standard yellow dump truck that to me do. Bag of gears, the big gears. Main body of the tipper. Beauty of this build. No painting. I'll be keeping it standard black. Front cab. That's where the driver would sit. Part of 
palm trees. Got uprights for the for the body, parts for the shocks, and steering on both of those. Side parts for the chassis, bumper, another set of parts, got the hexes for the wheels, steering, servo parts, bumper, wheelie bar, Bottom of the chassis, servo arms, hexes for the wheels again. In the kit, standard Tamiya instructions. Should be easy enough. Gonna be a nice build. Sticker sheet. Stand out really nice. Silver on the black. Got some chains. A couple of skulls. Very nice. Where to apply the stickers, uprights for the body, how to fit the body. And there we'll straw. It's a nice kit. Can't wait to put it together. We'll show you more videos. How we're we getting on in the build. So please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Yet again, another spectacular kit from Tamiya, and I am really looking forward to seeing this put together. I must say, though, we have joked a little bit that considering the kit is metal and the state of how we drive these vehicles, that maybe we should invest in shin pads. Mine are already on order. Please remember to like, feel free to comment, definitely subscribe, and hit that bell-shaped thingy to be woken up at all hours. Anyway, for now, that's your lot.